Welcome to the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C Demo Series. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to deploy the JVM Diagnostics and the ADP Agents in Enterprise Manager Cloud Control 12C. Both the Application Dependency and Performance, or ADP, and the JVM Diagnostics Agents are deployed to the WebLogic servers in the target domains. The agents collect and send real-time data to their respective managers. There are a couple of prerequisites for agent deployment. First, the target domain must be monitored by a management agent. Secondly, if that management agent is on a separate host from OMS, then you must generate and copy a JAR file. On any host with a WebLogic installation that is the same version as the one being monitored, you navigate to this lib directory and then run this java command to generate the jar file. Then you need to copy the jar file to the host where the management agent that is monitoring your target managed server is running. You place it in this jlib directory. Note that in this demo we're entering host and weblogic credentials manually. However, in a larger scale environment, you can use Enterprise Manager's preferred and named credential feature to centrally manage and delegate access to pre-configured credentials. Before you deploy an agent, you must ensure that the WebLogic server hosting the corresponding manager is up and running. Here on the Middleware Diagnostics page, you can see that both the ADP and JVM Diagnostics Managers have been deployed and are running. You deploy agents from the target home page for the WebLogic domain. So let's go to Targets, Middleware, and we want to deploy to this domain. Now we're on the domain home page. Now we'll go to the WebLogic domain menu and select Diagnostics, Setup Diagnostics Agents. First, we'll select the targets. By default, the managed server on the target domain is selected for each of the agents, as they must be deployed there. In addition, the ADP agent needs to be deployed to its administration server, so we'll select that. Note that even if you don't select the ADP administration server, it will still deploy to it. In this case, we're deploying both agents, but you can just deploy either one if you wish. Here you also see the versions that we're going to deploy. This is helpful when you already have deployed agents, so you can make sure that all your versions correctly match up. Now let's look at the agent configuration properties. For each of the agents, we'll select the manager that they'll report to. If we click the ADP Manager drop-down list, we see the available ADP managers. In this case, there's only one, so we'll accept that. And we'll do the same for the JVM Diagnostics Manager. We'll accept the default. You can select this Update Remote Start configuration if you use Node Manager to start or stop WebLogic servers. This will run some configuration scripts in the background to facilitate the monitoring process. Now let's enter the credentials. First we enter the login credentials for the host where the WebLogic administration server for the target domain is running. This is where you are deploying your agents. We'll select New and enter the username and password. Next, we'll enter the WebLogic credentials for the target domain. We also need to enter the credentials for the host that the WebLogic administration server for the Enterprise Manager domain is running on. We'll enter new. and the credentials for the WebLogic Enterprise Manager domain. Now that we've entered everything, let's go back up to the top of the page and we'll click Deploy. The jobs are submitted and on this deployment status page, 
We can see these links where we can see the status of each of the jobs for the deployment. So let's check on the ADP deployment. Here you can see the job performs the different operations necessary in order to deploy the ADP agent. And we can see that the status is succeeded, so deployment is complete. Now let's check the status of the JVM Diagnostic Agent deployment. And again we see the list of all the jobs that were required to deploy the agent, and we can see that the status was succeeded. And as with any job, you can click on these status links to get the command line output for the particular job. So in the rare event that something did go wrong, you'll be able to diagnose it based on the output from the job. So that's it for deploying JVM Diagnostics and ADP agents. Before you start collecting metrics though, you do need to restart the managed server to which the agents have been deployed. Thanks for watching this demonstration.